Chapter 212, Second Prince, Enjoy Your Last Moments. Yi Qiao also knew that right then, time was life so there wasn't much time for him to deliver it. All right, let's make for the mountain valley. Yi Qiao made a decision on the spot. The group of people didn't bother thinking about chasing after Yi Rong now. In their eyes, by this time, Yi Rong had definitely already been swallowed by the tide of rats. This was because the tide had come from the direction they just let in. Since they left in that direction, they would naturally run into the tide of rats. There was no way they could survive. Although he was also running for his life now, Yi Qiao was actually a bit excited apart from feeling nervous. For Yi Rong to die in this fashion was even better than him sending someone to assassinate Yi Rong. If everyone died beneath the tide of rats, Yi Qiao would emerge an innocent man. His reputation would bear no stain and this result was absolutely perfect. Yi Qiao's group made haste and quickly arrived in the mountain valley. Ling Zhuan analyzed the terrain. Second Prince, there are two roads in this area that will both take us around the mountain valley. We should be able to make it to open ground after this. At that time, the power of the rat tide will be greatly diminished. They can't possibly overrun the entire maze realm. You make a judgment and see which road is better. This matter can't be delayed. We can't waste any more time. Yi Qiao was still a bit cautious. Ling Zhuan and the others gathered together and quickly chose a road. Your Highness, according to our analysis, we should go left. That route should take us past the mountain valley faster. We can. Ling Zhuan's voice suddenly faded as an exceedingly bizarre expression floated onto his face as though he'd seen a ghost. His eyes looked straight ahead, staring at an area before them. Ling Zhuan, what is it? Yi Qiao couldn't help but follow the direction of his gaze when he saw Ling Zhuan's strange reaction. Zhang Chen? Yi Qiao's entire body shuddered as he too, displayed an expression of disbelief. What was Zhang Chen doing here? Hadn't he already left? And, he'd left in the opposite direction too. Could he teleport? Now that was too ridiculous. Zhang Chen naturally didn't know how to teleport. He had merely used a difference in time to loop around the mountain valley. They weren't that far apart so looping back around only required him to traverse a few hundred li. Zhang Chen hadn't expended much time at all when he had traveled at full speed. Besides, with the Rat King controlling the Rat Tide, they had grasped the perfect moment to act. He'd waited until the rats had occupied the mountain area before hurting Yi Qiao and the others to the mountain valley. In this way, Yi Qiao was like a turtle in a jar. You're in such a hurry, second prince, what's wrong? Zhang Chen had an easy smile on his face. Yi Qiao had no energy to bullshit with Zhang Chen at this moment. Zhang Chen, I don't have the time to verbally spar with you. Where's number four? Didn't you guys set off in that direction? Why did you circle back? Zhang Chen smiled. The fourth prince? They're on their way of course. I had some matters to take care of so I came back. I'll immediately go and meet up with them after I take care of things. On their way? Meet up? Yi Qiao smiled. Zhang Chen, does this mean that you were really the only one to come back here? Yi Qiao had been a bit worried when he first saw Zhang Chen. Worried that number four had also come back instead of being swallowed by the rat tide. His heart settled down again when Zhang Chen said that he was the only one who had returned. Just me, second prince. You've yet to answer my question. What are you doing here? Yi Qiao displayed a meaningful smile. Nothing much. We heard that there was a spirit creature here and wanted to try our luck. Zhang Chen. Go conduct your business and reconvene with number four when you're done. I'm going to hunt a spirit creature and won't chat any longer. We'll go our separate ways now. Yi Qiao was feeling quite gleeful inside. Zhang Chen, do you think you're hot shit? If you've got the guts, stay here and don't leave. And you still want to meet up with Yi Rong? Yi Rong and the others are likely shards of bone by now. He naturally wouldn't be so kind as to remind Zhang Chen about the tide of rats behind them. Zhang Chen chuckled. Hunting a spirit creature? The second prince is in such a hurry that it doesn't seem like you are simply hunting a spirit creature. Could it be that you have some unspeakable secret? Yi Qiao's face froze as he shouted, Zhang Chen, watch your tone. I'm going about my business, how dare you slander me? If it wasn't for the fact that time was of the essence, Yi Qiao would have surely rushed up with his personal guards without a second thought and chopped Zhang Chen up into little pieces. However, he didn't have the leisure to do so at the moment. The rat tide would here arrive at any moment. Wasting more time with Zhang Chen would mean that the danger they were in would increase. Second Prince, I also mean well. I know of an area with a lot of spirit creatures. There's too many to kill, even. If the second prince likes to hunt spirit creatures, I can guarantee that you'll like it. Huh. No need for your generosity. Go tell your master of it. Come, let's go. Yi Qiao snorted coldly and didn't pay any attention to Zhang Chen. Second prince, do you honestly think that you can still leave? Zhang Chen chuckled. What do you mean? Yi Qiao's body halted as killing intent flooded his face. He suddenly turned back to glare at Zhang Chen. What do I mean? Zhang Chen took a few leisurely steps forward. Second prince, you must be feeling quite proud of yourself at this moment. You think you're so smart as to destroy those two idiots Yi Dai and Yi Zheng with a borrowed knife, and then happen to stick it into the fourth prince as well. In this way, you'll be the only one left out of the four who had the most amount of hope to attain a position of crown prince. You'd be justifiably made the crown prince without a doubt after leaving the maze realm, wouldn't you? What? What are you talking about? What borrowed knife? You're absolutely ridiculous Zhang Chen. I'll kill you for sure if you keep spouting nonsense. You wouldn't dare. Zhang Chen smiled faintly. You don't even have the courage to linger here. Would you dare kill me if even I stood here and let you attack me? Zhang Chen, what are you trying to say? Yi Qiao's heart chilled. What am I trying to say? Can you really not guess? You're such a smart person and even now, 
You still can't see it? You triggered the rat tide and killed both Yi Dai and Yi Jing. Do you think you can get away with that? You. You're making ludicrous accusations. Of course Yi Qiao continued to deny things. He still thought that Zhang Chen was making things out of midair and didn't have any proof. It doesn't matter whether I am or am not. Either way, you can't leave. Your Highness, the rat tide has already cut off all routes. We're surrounded. Ling Zhuan suddenly realized that the two directions leading away from the mountain valley had already been thoroughly blocked. They were truly turtles in a jaw now. What? Yi Qiao's expression changed greatly. Zhang Chen, you were purposefully playing for time, weren't you? Yi Qiao's eyes were vicious as he gripped his teeth. You guessed correctly. Zhang Chen chuckled and didn't deny it. Crazy lunatic. Yi Qiao cursed loudly. Do you think that you can get away even if you delay us? Do you think your master can escape? Zhang Chen smiled faintly. Me delaying you has nothing to do with Yi Rong. Then what was it for? Yi Qiao was infuriated. The reason simple. You guys made a move on me first so I'm just here to collect on debts. Remember, although I may be easy to talk to, you'll die for pissing me off. Zhang Chen's stone turned cold. Don't play innocent with me. Your two men did their job quite nicely, but they should at least clean the traces of blood off themselves. Not wiping their asses after taking a dump. What's the deal with that, eh? Yi Qiao's face was ugly now. This means that you purposefully came here to hold us up? You're right. Zhang Chen laughed softly. Ha ha ha, crazy. You're completely crazy. You succeeded in delaying us but now what? We're all going to die together. Madman, a madman. Yi Qiao shook in his anger. You think too much. I said that I was here to collect on debts. I'll leave as soon as I'm finished. Leave. Dream on. That way there has long since been blocked off by the rat tide. Both ways out have been surrounded by now. You want to leave? Not unless you stick wings on your back. I know. Then what are you smirking about if you know? Yi Qiao's eyes revealed his internal struggle. Because I'm the one who triggered the rat tide this time. The fact that we could emerge unscathed from last time's rat tide means I can do the same this time. Zhang Chen laughed heartily as his body flashed before he landed on top of a tall and large tree. Yi Qiao, enjoy your last moments. I'll stand here and admire the view of your death struggles. Wham, wham, wham. The rat tide converged on them from all directions like a tidal wave. The golden-colored seas once again swept across the land. All the members of Yi Qiao's group were all flabbergasted and petrified. As they looked at the rat tides warming from all directions, despair grew in their hearts. A flash of brilliance suddenly hit Ling Zhuan as he called out, Everyone, go bring down Zhang Chen. This brat isn't afraid of the rat tide and so he must have a plan. We'll have a shot for survival if we take him with us. This suggestion helped Yi Qiao come to his senses. He'd been on the brink of despair when the light of hope shot out from his eyes. He too called out, Right, everyone work together and capture Zhang Chen. Ling Zhuan's level of training was the highest as he grasped the air with one hand and his long sword with the other. He flew towards Zhang Chen with a desperate motion. Ling Shi and Ling Zhuan also knew that this was a battle of life and death. How would they retain any of their strength? They also split up left and right in a pincer movement as they shot towards Zhang Chen. Hurry, hurry. The rat tide is arriving soon. Yi Qiao screamed out with all his might. Everyone go. What are you guys doing standing there in a daze? Go. Out in front, Ling Zhuan only had one notion at that moment, and that was to capture Zhang Chen and force out a method to avoid the rat tide. Otherwise, only death awaited them. He was very well aware that the rat tide wasn't something that human strength could withstand. There was only a strand of hope if they wanted to avoid the rats. The aura of his sword was like a dragon. The stroke arrived in front of Zhang Chen in the span of a second. Suddenly, the unexpected happened. Just as his body was about to draw near Zhang Chen, a surge of strength broke through from the earth and shot towards the heavens, bringing with it a wave of mud like an erupting volcano. An enormous gold blue rat leapt out from the mud wave, pouncing towards Ling Zhuan with a flash of golden light, completing ignoring the force behind his strike. A crisp breaking sound rang out as the sword was halted in its tracks. The gold bitter rat had merely clenched its paw and shattered into shards. In the next moment, the gold bitter rat's other paw had landed on Ling Zhuan's chest. Its sharply fanged mouth opened as it chomped down on Ling Zhuan's neck. Ling Zhuan's neck was immediately bitten through. Chomp, chomp. That gold bitter rat actually grasped Ling Zhuan's body and started gnawing away at it. It had finished eating Ling Zhuan within a few breaths. Ling Zhuan, a solid first level spirit realm, a practitioner who'd been about to set foot into the second level was like a child who just learned how to walk in front of this gold beater rat. He had been completely defenseless. The imposing sword strike had been easily diffused with a light grab. If Ling Shi and Ling Feng on the two sides hadn't reacted quickly and if the gold beater rat hadn't been more interested in Ling Zhuan, they likely wouldn't have escaped this disaster either. After all, this gold beater rat was simply too strong and its speed too fast. These so-called spiritual realm practitioners were a complete joke compared to the gold beater rats.